All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video and today I want to give a quick preview to my fellow global players out there for the upcoming Transforming Tech Majin Vegeta who of course is going to be part of the Dual Dokkan Fest with the Int Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku and for those of you that haven't seen the showcase the video for the Angel Goku, it is also available on the channel now, so go check it out after you watch this one. But uh, like I said in the previous video, I know a lot of people are planning to completely skip both of these banners, which I totally, totally understand because the five-year anniversary is literally right around the corner, and most people want to save their stones for those banners, for that celebration, so it makes sense. But for those of you out there who are maybe thinking about summoning for one or both of these units but are a little bit on the fence hopefully this video or both of these videos will help you guys make that final decision all right so without further ado let's jump right into it and we are running a resurrected warriors team here and on this first turn we do have him linked up with the oglr agl Maja vegeta and one random thing i've noticed just <laughs> Completely random, doesn't have to do with anything, but it was very clear to me when I looked at the sprites for these two Vegetas that the new Vegeta is significantly bigger. Like, it's noticeably bigger than the OG Majin Vegeta. I don't know why. He's like at least 50% to maybe twice as big, right? Like, you can see it. I don't, I don't understand. Like, why did Vegeta get so much bigger over time? Right? Anyways, doesn't really matter. I mean, <laughs> I'm just confused. Okay, so on this rotation, he has no support and he's getting 113,000, almost 114,000 defense actually, which is pretty solid. Um, if you guys saw the showcase for the Goku, this guy's boosts uh, are very similar. His passive is very similar to the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, except his attack and defense buff is the opposite. They're, they're reversed. So instead of getting more defense at higher HP, this Majin Vegeta, or I guess Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta right now, gets more attack at higher HP and then more defense at lower HP. Everything else before transformation pretty much stays exactly the same. Their transformation conditions are the same as well, which means that you have to be on the third turn. Yo, 2.7 million for the first attack with no supports. That is surprising, actually. I did not see that coming. And an additional. Okay, so two two supers. 2.7 per. He also raises defense with each super for one turn. So he should be pretty tanky here. Of course, we're only on the first stage. So it's kind of hard to test it, but 26 damage right there. But as I was saying, the transformation conditions exactly the same as the um, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So basically, you're looking at uh, turn 3. Or, or, or beyond, so third turn or after, and then you have to be facing only one enemy. So for certain stages, we are facing multiple enemies or certain events like Super Battle Road. It's going to be kind of hard to get that transformation off. And uh, what else? What is the other condition? Oh, also the enemy has to be above 80% HP. So it looks like if we can actually kill this Goku here on this turn, that we will get the transformation. There we go. Okay, we're getting the transformation immediately. I love it. On the last video, it took me quite a few turns to actually get the Goku to transform because sometimes you just don't get that right set of conditions, right? Like you might be on the third turn, but you might be facing multiple enemies or you might be facing one enemy, but their HP is like 50% or something like that, right? So there you go. We got the transformation relatively painlessly, relatively quickly. I love that. I love that. You know what's even better? We can get six key spheres here, actually seven. So. Once he gets six or more key spheres, he guards against all attacks. I mean, here we're going to guard anyways because we have type advantage. So I guess it's not really going to be that noticeable no noticeable of a difference. But uh, here we go, guys. We got the six orbs. He's going to get attacks effective against all types. And we're also getting the support from the um, Paragus and Broly here. And defensively, we're looking at 151,000 defense. Quite a big jump from the last turn. And let's just give a few to Majin Vegeta, doesn't really matter. And there we go. Yo, I'm excited, man. So we're going to tank these attacks really well, I can tell you right now. Yeah, we're not taking much damage at all, even a super. We're not getting supered. But 2.7 here 
interesting. Hey, that's interesting. So I believe last time we got 2.7, right? So this time with the support and post transformation, we're still getting 2.7. I'm not really sure what's up with that. Not really sure what's up with that. Um, I mean, we're not getting the additional 30% attack from three key spheres, but we do get attacks effective against all types. So obviously that makes a bigger difference than just the 30% attack. So what I'm thinking is maybe his attack stat is not gonna be super impressive, right? I mean, 2.7 million is not a small amount, but maybe it's like not super, super impressive like we saw with the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, but because he gets attacks effective against all types at three key spheres, his damage output is still gonna be very, very good. It should still be better than the pre-transform state. I mean, if you just look at the numbers, right? He's getting a bigger boost on attack and defense. He's getting more additional attack and more... Oh, no, you know what? We were at lower HP, though. Yo, I wasn't thinking about that. We were at lower HP because the first time we uh, did the attack, we were at full HP, and he gets more attack at higher HP, right? So that could have been the difference. Okay, here we go. So we get a bunch of key spheres again. We're getting very lucky with the key here. And we got the support from the Kid Boot as well. Let's see what the attack stat goes up to this time. 2.86 interesting obviously we didn't start the turn with uh, max HP I think we were, we were around 80% 2.2 mil guard against all types 121 damage right there so he is gonna be very good defensively very very good defensively obviously on offense he's no slouch either he's doing good damage but from whoa damn <laughs> Yo, okay, that was the issue with the original Majin Vegeta, man. He had no defense, so it's a breath of fresh air to get a Majin Vegeta that is as good defensively as this one. And uh, from what I can tell, this Majin Vegeta is better defensively than the Goku, the uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. But the Super Saiyan 3 Goku seems to be able to hit quite a bit harder. That's just my current observation of the situation. Although, this is very preliminary stuff, like I've only used these units a couple times, so my opinions could change over time as I get to use them more, right? But from what I can tell right now, yeah, Majin Vegeta seems to be more defensive focused, geared more towards defense, and then um, the Super Saiyan 3 Goku is more geared towards offense. Obviously, both of them can do both, but like, those are their specialties, I think. I think, which actually would follow the trend a lot of times with the way they handle Goku and Vegeta cards, right? Like for Dual Dokkan Fest, when there's a Majin, where there's a Goku card and a Vegeta card, the Goku card usually at least is more offensive and the Vegeta is more defensive. So this seems to be what is happening here as well from what I can tell, at least from what I can tell. Okay, so no support on this turn. Um, I'm actually throw the Majin Vegeta in the middle there to get that uh, Fierce Battle Link and just hope that we don't get supered in the first slot because AGL Majin Vegeta, he's always been able to hit very, very hard, like really, really stupid hard, but his defense was non-existent. I think that's the main knock against him because if you just look at pure damage, he's still up there with like a lot of modern LRs, a lot of mar modern units. It's just like... He has no defense. He literally gets no defense on his passive, which is very unfortunate. Oh, almost 3 million crit there. So yeah, as far as damage output goes, he's still quite insane. He just took that for 29 damage, guys. He took that super for 29 damage. So <laughs> yeah, he's a defensive juggernaut for sure. And he puts out good damage, but not as much as the Goku. I can at least temporarily right now in this video confirm that based on my experience with the two so far um, if you guys want to see the damage that the super saiyan 3 goku is able to output go check out the video like i said after you watch this one it's currently live on the channel already and uh, that goku's numbers went to a very very high place that was a weird way to put it why did i say that <laughs> what i'm trying to say is the goku Got some pretty crazy attack stats, and uh, this Vegeta, as far as like numbers you see here, as, as far as the attack number, not super impressive, right? Like for a rainbowed new Dokkan Fest unit, you would expect maybe some higher damage output, but I am 
very much more impressed by this guy's uh, defensive prowess, his defense number so far, compared to the Goku. I think he is quite a bit better defensively than the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Um, that ability to guard against all attacks is super clutch, man. And offense isn't everything. I know a lot of people like to see big damage numbers, but that's not how I really see things, right? I think defense is just as, if not more important than offense, especially with these new events coming out that hit really, really hard. Like for example, here, this guy's gonna hit us really hard and we're gonna die. Audra Vegeta can't survive this. Oh, oh, never mind. Uh, okay, is Cooler gonna survive the next attack though? Oh, I'm impressed, Cooler. I am very, very impressed. Okay, so we're gonna skip this next turn. Um, I mean, I mean skip his attacks, that is. And uh, just make it to the the turn after this so we can see a little bit more of the Majima Vegeta. But uh, you've pretty much seen all there is to see at this point because, you know, the damage, damage okay. Actually, no, it's not okay. It's good. It's good damage. But uh, tanking wise, defensively, very, very good. Right? Really, really good defense. Um, I actually want to see him get supered by the Godku here just to see exactly how well he can tank a super attack on one of these later stages. Um, we might actually get to see that on the next stage though, because I think the god Ku might be dead after this Dokkan attack. I didn't even notice we were doing a Dokkan attack, so that's my bad. I could have probably saved it, but you know, what's done is done, man. What's done is done. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below if watching this video has convinced you to summon for the tech transforming Maja Vegeta, or are you gonna continue saving your stones for the anniversary or something else in the future? And also, for those people that have seen both videos at this point, which one has impressed you more? All right, between the two, which one has, um, you know, just stood out to you more? Which one, if you were gonna just summon for one of them, would you actually summon for? Um, let me know guys, let me know in the comments. Now defensively, 150,000, so it looks like he's gonna hover around there with the support. Uh, we didn't get six orbs here, so unfortunately we're not getting a uh, guard against all. Actually no, but we, we are have type advantage, so he should be guarding anyways. Yeah, he should be guarding anyways. Okay, 56k, 56k, that's really, really impressive, man. All right, so we're getting close to three mil here, so that is the highest attack stat we've actually seen from Maja Vegeta. Um, up to this point, and including for 2.6. Yeah, that's good. No, his damage is good. <laughs> it's not as crazy as the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I'll tell you that right now. It's not as crazy. Spoilers for anybody that hasn't seen that video. But um, defensively, he is definitely better. And I think that's pretty much where we're going to end this video, guys. There's not much else to really talk about, to really see. Um, you know what? Before we go, let me just quickly read the passive to you guys. And I think I'm going to let my team die. Or maybe I wanna... Hmm, I'm thinking. You know what, let's pop a Ghost Usher so we can actually survive until next turn. Um, so we can do one final attack with the Majin Vegeta. But while this is happening, let me read the passive for the Majin Vegeta to anybody that is not aware of what it is. Attack and defense plus 120%, plus an additional attack boost by up to 77%. The more HP remaining, the greater the attack boost. And an additional defense boost by up to 77%, the less HP remaining, the greater the defense boost. So like I said, the opposite of the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. And uh, wow, we still might die here. <laughs> Damn. Uh, attacks effective against all types with three or more key spheres and guard activated against all attacks with six or more key spheres. Oh, you know what, this is actually good because we are gonna be able to get a lot more defense here with our HP this low. Like it's hard to get your HP this low without dying. So I wanna see what his defense is at next turn, starting the turn with 20% defense. Um, or sorry, not defense, uh, HP, 20% HP. So 169,000, nice defense um damn that's impressive that is impressive and you know what let's finish off this goku man let's finish off this goku let's stop playing around let's go he can do it he can do it 
even though his damage is not as high as the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, it's still some very good damage, especially with attacks effective against all types. So we're getting 2.4 mil here because, of course, we have less attack boost with the lower HP. But... Oh, so close. Hit this... One of the Majin Vegeta's finish it off. There we go. Okay, so that is where we're going to end the video today, guys. Um, that is the Tech Majin Vegeta. Once again, let me know in the comments down below. Do you plan to summon for him? And also, after watching these videos, which of these units, the Majin Vegeta or the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, was more impressive to you? And uh, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you'll like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.